Hey, what's happening YouTube? In the backcountry here again. Uh, today we got a little project mounting a toolbox on the camper. I've uh, built this flatbed. There'll be another video on how I did just a wood flatbed uh, with wood that I milled from the property. Um, yeah, so I didn't do a metal flatbed. I did wood. So pretty much I have some 4x4s under there and then uh, two by material, two by tens, and then I think there's like a two by twenty uh, in the middle there. A big slab that I uh, ripped. That's the deck of this. Uh, so that's what I pretty much have to attach to. I don't have the standard L-shaped metal brackets and standard, you know, welding metal to metal contact type stuff uh, that would you'd normally use for a toolbox like this. So I think I've got an idea here. Um, so then we can hopefully just raise this up enough off of the deck to get this bolt. We're going to use some uh, galvanized carriage bolts. I think this is going to be the ticket. So I'm going to drill a hole and mount this with... So we've got carriage bolt and washer on the top. That should be a pretty flat um, surface for the camper. Uh, to rust on and then there's a, a rubber mat that goes on top of this so that the camper won't actually be on this metal bolt and then on the inside of that we're going to have a great big um, washer I don't know how big that guy is but it's big followed by another little washer followed by lock washer followed by the nut and I'm hoping this kind of sandwiched in there having four of these in each corner uh, will be enough to hold that box up under there. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to start by finishing tightening those up and then we'll get a couple rounds of wood to hopefully raise this thing just enough that we can get a drill bit uh, and drill in this toolbox and drill up into the deck to mount it. level okay I stopped for a minute to get something to eat I found the right drill bit and I did a test hold just in the stump right here just to make sure that the drill bit size uh, would fit I hate drilling a hole through metal and then realizing it's not quite big enough and you got to go like just one size bigger and then you got to go get the other bit and drill another hole so I think with that pilot hole, I uh, let's see. I think I got everything lined up like we want it, Fern. Okay, there you have it. Finished product. That's pretty much it. We still got to do a little work over here on the gas tank. Um, hopefully it fills from over there. Hopefully you can get the spout in there. Still going to have to figure that out a little bit. But I just kind of threw some stuff in there. And boy is that nice not to have in the back of the truck. Toe strap. The gloves, soft shackles. Uh, I always carry a bike pump because I'm usually riding bikes. Uh, NRS straps, those volet straps, a couple other cheapo strap screws since everything's made out of wood. I carry a screw gun because everything's made out of wood. Um, impact wrench, 
your tires off. Yeah, and then I think I'm actually gonna build like a little divider right here. Just glue a board in there, just a thin like piece of one by six uh, or half by six, just with that 5200, just glue a board in there. And that way I can set like bottles. I also have chain lube um, and a bike cleaner thing and a degreaser. So I'd like to keep two or three more cans in there and not have them bounce all around. So, so there you go, everybody. I think that's, I think that's good enough um, that I'm actually going to put two more back here. I got space here for one. I actually keep my jack under there and I keep uh, traction boards under there. Let's see, I got that whole middle section too. So I'm going to move that and that over to there. And then I measured and I've got enough for another, I think it's going to be 18 by 16 by 14. So the bottom reveal will be the same as these coming across. Uh, and it will take up this area. And on the front of it, I will screw, I will cut this mud flap down uh, and I'll just screw a little piece onto the front of the toolbox. Yeah, and I'm gonna put two more toolboxes under there. I mean, it's a little silly. The price of these small toolboxes is only like 20 or $30 different from that big one, but I just don't have the space. So, although I'd love to have bigger toolboxes or I don't know, get rid of part of that bumper and put something bigger in there. Um, not now, not for today. And there is no way um, with these bolts and that glue on there, I'm just gonna leave this up overnight for it to dry just to make sure that our glue and stuff there all sets up. Um, but yeah, I really like how that came out. I think that's super strong, super heavy duty. Here's my four by four. Those are the airlines for the airbags I've got under there. Um, but yeah, it's just, I use the exact same bolts when I took the truck bed off. It's sitting over there. Uh, I took the exact same uh, bolts that were holding that on and I bolted this first four by four on drilled a hole and bolted that on. And then I bolted that to that uh, with some great big leg bolts. And that's pretty much it. And then the decking just on top of that. So there's really nothing to it. I mean, it's about the simplest flatbed I think you could probably do on a truck. If I had to do it over again, I think the only thing I'd do different is I'd leave these four by fours here another six inches longer or something on each side just because you got, I don't know, maybe a two foot span here of just four by four. Uh, and there's only 800 pounds up there. Um, now, let's say 1200 if by the time it's all wet and everything else. Um, but yeah, I guess just, just for a little more support, I'd have those sticking out a little more just so this isn't quite cantilevered, but there's, you know, one, two, three, four on an eight foot bed so there's two feet in between each of these four by fours and that top area this is seven foot something by eight foot four i think i made it so seven by eight, 56 square feet uh, with a thousand pounds i don't know do some kind of math there, but that's not very much resting on these four by fours. And I have one, two, three, four, four by fours. So I guess I don't feel too bad about it. It's like 250 pounds per four by four spread out over seven feet. So what's that like 30 pounds a foot? So I don't, I don't expect anything to go wrong here, but um, yeah, you know, these boards are all cedar. I did that. These are really just to make it look nice. They don't do anything. Um, but yeah, there you go. There you have it. Well, thank you everybody for watching. There's uh, That's what an all day, one truck box, half a day anyway, truck box build looks like. So anybody's got any comments or anybody else down a wooden truck bed 
with toolboxes or you have a better way to mount them or something. Uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks, guys. Take care, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you.